Let me ask you a question. What would your life look like if God gave you the same wisdom that he gave Solomon? I mean, just think about that for a second. Look at Solomon's life. Where would you be 12 months from now if you were actually operating in the wisdom of Almighty God? A lot of people ask for wisdom. A lot of people pray for wisdom, but a lot of people don't feel like they actually have the wisdom. Even in my own life, I've been taught many years to ask God for wisdom, to pray for wisdom. 15 years ago, I was struggling financially. My car was being repossessed. My house was being foreclosed on and I was doing what people were saying to do. Ask God for wisdom, ask God for wisdom. I had to stop for a minute and ask myself, if I really have the wisdom of God, why am I experiencing lack? How could foreclosure be the wisdom of God? How could my business failing be the wisdom of God? How could my finances failing be the wisdom of Almighty God? A God who doesn't know lack? And it was a question that drove me. It was a question that kept me going at night, asking myself, God, look what you did for Solomon. I know you say what you do for one, you'll do for another. So if you did it for Solomon, what is it that I'm missing? So why if I have the true wisdom of God and I'm operating in this wisdom, why would I be in a position of lacking financially where my business is going down? Why would I have that if I truly have the wisdom of God? So I went on this journey really asking myself, how do you get the wisdom of God? I started to study. I spent hours, thousands of hours in reality trying to figure out how do you receive the wisdom of God? How do you not only receive it, but how do you make sure it's happening in your life, right? Because you know if it's happening in your life because you'll notice it in your finances, you'll notice it in your business. Your business, wherever you are right now in your business and your finances, is a result of the wisdom of God that you have. If you want your business and your and your finances to increase, you need your wisdom to increase. You need the wisdom of God to increase in your life. So again, I went on this journey asking myself, how do you actually get this wisdom? How do we receive it? How do we walk in it? How do we live in it? How do we experience it to the, to the point where we know and notice it with our own eyes? Not just somebody saying to you, you have the wisdom of God, but actually experiencing it, where you notice it with your own physical eyes. You see your business, you see your finances, you see your marriage, you see all the things that you wanna see prospering, all those things are prospering. So what we did is we created something of what we call 30 Days of Proverbs, where we actually dive into the book of Proverbs and actually show you what Solomon was talking about. Not just from words, not just from reading it and getting your own interpretation of it, but what was God actually showing Solomon? How how was Solomon taking the word of God? How was Solomon taking the information from God, I shall say, and applying it into his life, applying it into his business? So we created a process for 30 days of Proverbs, where again, you're gonna get one a day for the next 30 days. Something that you can take on a daily basis, kind of like a daily devotional, but I don't like to really use the word daily devotional because it's so much better than that. Something that is gonna change your life. Something that we know for sure, as you implement it into your life, your business is gonna change, your life's gonna change, your marriage is gonna change, because the wisdom of God will change your life 100%. So what I want you to do is I want you to click the button below. I want you to get access immediately because we're going to send it to you immediately. And I want you to take the journey with us. And I want you not only to get it right away, but I want you to start implementing it into your life today. And watch what God will do in 30 days.